the beam section has a neutral axis of 77.5 millimeters measured from the origin we are to find the thickness of the web step number one write out the formula of the centroid of the t-beam along the y-axis step number two split the beam into two parts this is the rectangle one and this is the second rectangle step number three find the area of each of the rectangles find the centroid of each rectangle here we are going to split this rectangle into two parts and measure the distance from that centroid to the origin and that is the centroid of the first rectangle and for the second rectangle we are going to split it into two and the distance from that point to the origin we are going to call it the centroid of the second rectangle you can see that from this point to this point is 150 divided by 2 which is 75 and from this point all the way to the origin we got 450 when you put it together you're going to get 5 to 5 subsequently from this point down to the origin is 450 divided by 2 which is 2 to 5 millimeters now we have obtained the centroid of each rectangle and also we know the area of each rectangle next is to substitute into the centroidal axis formula if you substitute carefully you're going to have this next is to solve and open up the bracket this multiply by this you're going to get this and this multiply by this you're going to get this however you can add this to this because of the presence of t the only thing is you're going to take everything here to multiply the other side which we have done here next if this multiplies this you get this and if this multiplies this you get this everything here has not changed next collect like terms that is t's will be on one side and values without t's on one side of the equal sign this will remain here and this will move across and becomes a negative and this will remain on this side and this will move across and becomes a negative solving carefully we obtained this ignoring this negative because the thickness of a web cannot be negative next find the moment of inertia of the beam the first step to do this is to write out the formula for the area moment of inertia along the x-axis using the parallel axis theorem formula which is this however this is the area moment of inertia for the first rectangle and this is the area moment of inertia for the second rectangle when you substitute and solve carefully you see this is the area moment of inertia for the first rectangle and this is the area moment of inertia for the second rectangle using these formulas next is we are going to add them both this and this let's look at how we substituted this is the base of the first rectangle and this is the height of the first rectangle this is the area of the first rectangle and this given centroid this is the centroid 
of the first rectangle. In the second rectangle, this is the base. We calculated the base to be the thickness, which is the thickness of the web. And this is the height of the second rectangle. The area of the second rectangle is 450T and we have obtained our T, the thickness. And this centroid and we obtained the centroid of the second rectangle to be 225. Next is to add this and this. And when we add them both like this, we are going to obtain this as our area moment of inertia. Next, calculate for the radius of gyration. To calculate for the radius of gyration, the first step is to write out the formula. Next, substitute. If you substitute and solve carefully, this is the radius of gyration. In this substitution, this is the area of the first rectangle and for the second rectangle, this is the area. I hope these examples have been helpful. I will see you in the next video.